Hey everyone, and welcome to Friday Reads number two, where I actually do have progress in another book, which is a miracle. So, yeah, I, if you don't know, I'm running my Friday Reads kind of like weekly wrap ups, as well as what I'm currently reading. Made multiple topics that are topics that I'll add later on, but for the most part, this is just going to be what I read, as well as Friday Reads together, and what I'm going to be reading over the next week or hope to want to read in the future. So let's talk about the book that I did finish because I did end up finishing one book or a novella. And the novella that I finished was the 1.5 novella in the back of Untamed Cowboy, which is called Mail Order Cowboy. And this is about a guy named Jackson who one day ends up getting a knock on the door from a lady that he hooked up with and she hands him a baby says she can't do this anymore and runs off and has never seen him again and he hires a nanny online to come kind of live in like a live-in nanny type of situation and everything goes off from there i have to say this is probably one of the best novellas that she i that the author amazing has written to date um it was one of the ones that were like very fast um, but you also really like the characters. So I did end up giving it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Um, I'm not going to say too much about it because of the fact that that plot is basically the whole thing of the novel plus, you know, more as it goes on. But I don't want to say too much about it and spoil it. So it was a fantastic book and I'm officially caught up with the Gold Valley series until I believe next month um, or September. I think it's... I think it's... Yeah, I think it's next month and I think in October the fourth one comes out but the way these books come out you get two at once because they come out with um next book will be book three and in the back will have 2.5 in the back of it so i did finish one book this week so i'm currently in the middle of reading one book um i was reading one book i'll push that off because i want to read something else i'll talk about that in a second but the book i'm currently actively reading is final scream by elisa jackson this is a standalone thriller kind of like a romantic thriller um it's about a girl named Cassidy, who has survived a arson at her family's mansion, and then years later, she comes back to the town because she has a feeling that she's being stalked again, and it's about a guy named Brig who was set up for the um, arson and has now gotten out of jail, and then they kind of team up to get everything in the eye eye to figure out who really did it. I think that's what it is. I'm only, um, I'm only at the third chapter. Um, it's a lot different than I thought it was going to be because of the fact that we're seeing a lot more perspective as them as younger characters and I'm not really really into it yet. I'm going to give it a few more chapters to see because it is a long one. It's about 500 pages. So I'll give it to about the 75 to 100 page mark to see how I'm feeling. Um, if not, I'll just kind of DNF it and move on because I do have another Lisa Jackson novel that I can pick up. I have um, You Don't Know, You Don't Want to Know by the same author. So if I don't like this one, I'll pick up this one and see. But this is the book that I'm currently actively reading and I'll probably pick up more later tonight and hopefully give it a try. If I don't like that um, thriller novel or like thriller romance novel, I will pick up um, Against the Law by Cat Martin. This is about um, a former U.S. Ranger, a Delvin, who gets contacted by a lady who wants to find a, a baby that she put up for adoption years ago and then the four-year-old that they find goes missing and then it's about them trying to find it and stuff like that um you know your typical romance type things um i picked this one up because i have a large collection of um harlequin romance and i will be doing videos in the future going through all of my harlequin romance books i have five old like recycled milk crates as well as a whole bottom shelf of like when these book these bookshelves um, across the room that have books. I think I have probably about 200, maybe 300 um, in total. I used to have like two, 3,000, I think, possibly, but I left them behind when I moved because I just wasn't in the mood for them anymore. So they ended up getting like recycled or not recycled, sent to like a bookshop, basically. But um, I figured I'd pick this one up because I wanted to have this. I had this one on my shelf for a while and I wanted to read it. So if I don't feel like reading, Final Scream, and I'm still in the mood for like a thriller romance, I will pick up Against the Law by Cat Martin. I want to say BJ, Jan uh, BJ Daniels because this one also has a bonus story called 12 Gauge Guardian by BJ Daniels, which I might pick up as well if I don't like the first one or if I like the uh, first one I want to give it a try because I do, I think I have a few BJ Daniel books on my shelf, but I'm not 100% certain, but I, heard, I hear she's an amazing, amazing author. Pretty much anyone who writes for Harlequin is an amazing author, in my opinion. But yeah, this is my backup for my thrillerish novel. 
And the book that I was reading that I ended up pushing off was The Talisman by Stephen King and Peter Straub. I read about one chapter of this and I was really enjoying it, but like what happened last time I picked it up, I wasn't fully invested in it. I know a lot of people have been saying that I really need to read this book and that is amazing. And I don't doubt that, but at the same time, um, I'm not having, having to fully get into it. And the reason I pushed this one off is because I wanted to read The Dead Zone by Stephen King. I just started watching the Castle Rock TV show on Hulu and it is absolutely amazing. I'm sad they didn't release all episodes at once because I really want to binge it, but they only have like, it's a weekly episode. The first three episodes are out now, but um, it's going to be um, released weekly starting October 1st. October, yeah, August 1st, I mean, um, and I really enjoy it, and I want to read the Castle Not Rock books. My original plan for the beginning of this year was to actually read all the Castle Rock novels um, and short stories by the time um, Castle Rock started, then I got my reading slump and that did not happen, so I went to pick up the Dead Zone. This is about a guy who falls into a coma and wakes up, and whenever he touches people, he can like see into like their true intentions and true being. So I really want to try this one. I did start this one a few years ago, more more than a few years ago. I probably started this book um, 2012, 2013. Um, I got this book actually from the Stephen King Library, which is, was a mail book order, a, bit, a mail like, book subscription thing, which I don't think they have anymore, unfortunately. Um, where they sent you like a new Stephen King book every month, you can like check off which ones you had, and then they wouldn't say repeat uh, copies, basically. Um, but I started reading it then, I got about 90 pages in, and got the same thing with, with, with The Talisman, which was, I wasn't really invested in it, and with Stephen King's novels, I have to be invested in them to really continue on with them. With King novels, I had to feel that invest, like the invested feeling in the book, because his books are very complex sometimes and very like multiple layers to them. So you have to kind of have a connection with them to feel um, anything for the characters or in the story. So I didn't read that, but with the addition of watching Castle Rock every single week, I feel like I'm gonna be more interested in reading these books. So I want to try reading this one. I will say this one will probably be one I just pick up every now and then. Um, because I am reading Final Scream, but um, I want to have two or three books that I have going at once during this reading slump because I want to read what I'm in the mood for, so I'm not like holding myself back. And I am, I have really good um, memory when it comes to books. Um, that if I even if I pick this book up where I left off, which I don't even have the bookmark in here anymore, um, after a few chapters, I would remember every single thing that um, happened in the book. Like, I have a bookmark in Lissy's story or Lizzie's story and I haven't picked, picked the book up in about four years, five years now and I still remember every single thing that happened in that book. I'll probably will restart when I read it but I have not um, actually done anything to pick that book up in a few uh, while so I'm going to restart in the dead zone hopefully soon. I'm not 100% certain but hopefully soon because I really really enjoyed Castle Rock. If you have Hulu I'd recommend it. If not I recommend you getting Hulu for that. You know you can wait till it's done airing and then just get a free subscription and binge it all one season or one sitting because I don't know how many episodes. I think it's probably like eight to ten episodes I think. I'm not sure. So that is all I'm reading. I did end up DNFing um, the Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. It was good. It was. I was really enjoying it. I was about 200 pages in, and it was just way, way, way too slow paced. Like the author drugged this book along way too slowly for it to be like it could have been told in 300 pages. And the extra 220 pages that I was worrying about was the plot pacing and the plot progression, which was zero. So I ended up doing nothing with that one. I think I'm just gonna bring all my books back to the library because I was thought I was in the mood to get back into reading books in the library, and then I got in the mood to read my romances, and I have plenty enough Harlequin books um, to fill that need in plenty of different varieties. So I'm gonna return those to the library this weekend, and I'm gonna check out at the library because they have like a miscellaneous paperback, uh, which are. Like these type of paperbacks, the romance, hard from romances, they have like a miscellaneous paperback section. So I'm going to check that out and see, why did I point to myself when I said check that out? Um, I'm going to check out that section and see maybe they have any romances that I've been wanting or authors that I've wanted to try and maybe just pick up a few of them. I'm not 100% sure. Um, maybe I'll just 
go to the library and it has a whole big selection of Harlequins that usually they sell them for like 30 or 40 paperbacks for a dollar and just pick up a whole bunch more. I'm not sure if I do that, I'll have a haul, but I don't know. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Feel free to leave opinions on the books in the description bar below that, in the comments below that I mentioned. Just please, no spoilers. And you can also let me know what you're reading as well in the comments below. Until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day, even night, wherever in the world. I'll see you guys in my next video.